Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have such an important and purposeful sky for you. There is a real sense of destiny awakening for you. And a part of it is the truly big opportunities that are set to find you now. In this way, considering the progress you make, considering the real sense of raising your status, aligning with a higher, more loving vision for your life that can occur at this time, well, it truly feels like a consequential and rewarding month for you. Some of those opportunities that do come will take you very much by surprise. They may lead you in very different directions than you've known before or further further affirm a truly authentic and stable path for you. And it starts with the new moon. Early this month, right around the fourth of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, we are going to have a beautiful new moon taking place. Now this new moon is happening at the very top of your sky and it is one of the more fortunate new moons that I have seen in a while. It will be speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn, in supreme harmony with Pluto and speaking in harmony with Neptune as well. So that Neptunian connection is very hopeful. Uh, it's very dreamy as well. Neptune right now moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with, on the one hand, uh, your relationship with financial institutions. It also has to do with meaningful change and meaningful transformation. And so there's this hope and potential that what is transpiring now uh, could move you towards greater wealth. Of course, that could be practical wealth, but also a wealth of spirit, a wealth of happiness is indicated here as well. And then we have these beautiful alignments between this new moon and Saturn and Pluto. Uh, Saturn and Pluto right now moving through a part of the sky that have to do with your day-to-day -day life, including your work life as well. So it looks like there are career and life purpose gains that can be made that are connected to what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and what you're doing for your work and for your job. For some of you, this really is going to be brand new opportunity, but it isn't isolated just to this new moon. What we also have happening uh, this month is under the light of this new moon, Mercury entering the same part of the sky and connecting with Uranus. Mid-month, Venus entering at this part of the sky and connecting with Uranus. So that adds that element of very quick leaps into your future. Uh, surprise opportunities that can come up as well. All of these planetary moves and connections with Uranus and other supporting elements ultimately say that what starts at the new moon will not be an isolated singular event, but rather something that you are continuing to tap into, continuing to grow forward, continuing to allow to expand your horizons that much more throughout this month. Now, it is going to be at this new moon that a few things uh, begin to be highlighted. As I said, you'll continue to cultivate them, but we're looking at things like uh, auditions, interviews, uh, career advancements, promotions, new career pathways opening up for you as well. We're looking at you feeling more in alignment with your own life purpose and a real sense of destiny that can show up for you, whether within you, but also validated by external events that can take place at this time. There's a sense of you leaping into your future or in new directions, but where it comes to leaping into your future, this is like big opportunities that can come to you. And it is ultimately your career and your social standing uh, and your life purpose that is an area that is very blessed this month. Now, while you're gonna be focused on the goals and the big goals that you have for your life, uh, either gaining favor from bosses and people in positions of authority or making yourself someone in a position of authority, uh, that is gonna take up a lot of energy this month, but the energy does change significantly as we navigate further. And it is gonna be right around the 18th of the month, uh, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, 
that we are going to have a full moon. Now this full moon is happening at the very foundation of your chart. And this is very different from the new moon energy. The new moon energy is very visible. It's very outward. Uh, and you add those connections between Saturn and Pluto. There's a busyness at this time and a hopefulness at this time at the early part of the month. But by the time we get to mid month and that full moon, the energy is much more private. This full moon will be standing across the sky from Mercury at the very top of your sky. And we'll also be connecting with Pluto as well. Now, what this tells me that connection with Mercury says that there's a part of you that is considering uh, where it is that you want things to be more personal, where it is that you want to have time with your family or on your own, uh, where it is that you are considering the foundations of your life and what really matters in life, what makes you feel like you are internally at peace and standing on strong ground and who is it that you consider family what is it that they give to you that allows you to feel truly grounded because the energy can really fly away with all those uranian connections uh, that are taking place for much of this month it is ultimately this full moon that's going to ask you to be more grounded and to look at things from a little bit more of a detached perspective to make sure that you are balancing outward movement and focus with an internal sense of connection. But because this full moon is also connecting with Pluto, now this connection with Pluto, it is harmonious, but it's not very exact. It isn't a strong connection, even though it is harmonious. And what this tells me is that you will have to consciously decide that you are going to tap into some of the blessing of this full moon and bring, it's almost like you bring your daily life in to uh, what it is that's going to allow you to feel stable and strong and connected to yourself. And I see this playing out a few different ways. One is there may be a need for you to consider uh, what health related habits you can put into place to ensure that you are feeling good along with doing all the things that you are doing in the outer world. Um, but there's also this sense here that if it is that you work from homes or you work with homes, any kind of home-based business, there's going to be desire to nurture that at this time as well, to make sure that in your own time, you are continuing to nurture your dreams and what it is that you are truly wanting to do in the fullness of time. Ultimately, the overall theme with this energy this week is one of absolute ambition. And as I said, destiny really is a key word now, uh, but also of self-care and of intuition and making sure you're staying connected to yourself. Now, where it comes to matters of love this month, Venus is going to spend half of the month continuing to move through fellow fire sign Aries before switching gear and moving into the very top of your sky for the second half of the month and beyond. So it is that first half of the month that you are going to continue uh, to feel a sense of being able to access Venusian energy that much easier to your advantage. Uh, there's a sense of hope, of possibility and adventure where it comes to matters of love. You start to become a lot more big picture and you're thinking about the long-term prospects where it comes to any kind of romantic alliances that could be there. So for those of you who are open to meeting someone new, love feels like an adventure in the first half of the month. And it is very possible that you are intrigued by someone who is very different than people that you have known before, whether in terms of their background, their philosophy, their culture. It is once we get beyond the middle of the month and Venus changes uh, parts of your sky that you start to find yourself more drawn towards people who have achieved something that you admire or who in some way represent you moving towards a more stable future. For those of you who are getting to know somebody. So if you've just started dating someone, I do think the first half of the month is fun, it's enthusiastic, it's adventurous, and that can be a really nice energy to tap into. But after we move past the middle of the month and Venus changes sectors, it's gonna become a lot more about whether or not this person fits into the direction in which you are going and whether or not there feels like there is a sense of destiny with this person or not. 
And for those of you in an established bond, I feel like the first half of the month is about planning something fun together, uh, thinking about what it is that's going to feel like an adventure that the two of you can take together. But really so many moments under this energy can just feel joyous and it can be that life is an adventure with this person in the best possible sense. Once we move into the second half of the month, um, it becomes a lot more about the larger goals that the two of you share and the direction in which you are going. I do want to just mention also that it is going to be in the early part of the month, the first half of the month, that Venus is going to make some difficult connections with Saturn and with Pluto. And what that tells me is that there might be something that you are really wanting to do together, uh, something like an adventure that the two of you could take on. However, it feels like there may be more practical matters that you have to address, and that can bring about some mixed feelings. Regardless, these are ultimately just moments and once you navigate beyond them, you'll be able to reaffirm uh, the spirit of fun that the two of you share. And once we get past the middle of the month, a real affirmation of the destiny that the two of you have together. What I love about this month for you, well, look, it's got to be all those blessings that are coming for you this month where it comes to career, social standing, life purpose. You may be for consideration of something like an award, even there'll be some Leos out there uh, who find themselves uh, very taken aback by the possibility of being recognized in some way. But it's also a place of comfort for a lot of Leos as well. There's a real sense now of you tapping into a spirit of direction, a spirit of purpose, a spirit of knowing that you are on the path towards fulfilling some higher, more loving vision for your life. And the thing is that not only is that exciting, but it's a feeling that is right and it is good. And thankfully this month it is one with rewards. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.